Avoid these seven habits that are making you weak. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Marcus Aurelius We'll explore thought habits, eroding resilience when facing manipulators, and principles strengthening our mental core. A husband hid from his wife's belittling tone, recalling blows from his hypercritical father, endured silently too. Stoics, however, step firmly into necessary confrontations, discomfort surfaces, opportunities for clarity and growth. A peace-faking wife recoiled, reacting with rare contempt when her narcissistic partner dismissed her yet again. Fury spent, waves of shame flooded her. Stoics pause amid provocation, process difficult emotions before thoughtful response, retaining dignity rather than impulsively match petty blows. A young woman constantly hid her own needs since childhood, trained to ignore herself for an abusive mother's wants. To neglect one's soul starves spirit and body. Healthy boundaries demand upholding self-values against any backlash when standing for truth. By evolving thought patterns, we retain access to inner resilience when manipulators in our lives whip up hurricane winds aiming to emotionally destabilize us. Establishing an unshakable sovereign compass inoculates against their attempts to dominate or diminish light. Lesson 1 on External Validation A man raised under constant criticism desperately sought any praise as emotional life support from anyone. Kind words from passing strangers sustained him for days. But a self-assured woman, filled first from within, spread light freely without requiring others' validation. She didn't grasp for glimmers of approval because she tended her own inner fire. Imagine feeling so emotionally starved that you desperately seek validation from anyone offering crumbs of praise or attention. Sarah coveted any positive feedback as proof of worth after a lifetime of criticism from her narcissistic father. So when Sarah's colleague Ashley complimented her work in passing, she clung to that remark for days to bolster her fragile mood. In contrast, the enlightened sage Marcus nurtured self-esteem not by praise, but through noble pursuits, writing, community leadership, governance guided by conscience. He didn't require outside validation because he followed his inner wisdom. So external approval graced this philosopher without grasping, much like rain naturally nourishes fruit-bearing trees. Important announcement before we get immersed in the second habit lesson. Dear friends, I'm excited to announce that we are soon starting a transformative 30-day video course here on the Recover Thyself channel exploring the profound wisdom of Stoic philosophy and how it can help us find inner peace and purpose even amidst chaos while dealing with narcissists. Over the next 30 days, we will immerse in timeless Stoic principles that shaped history's greatest leaders from Marcus Aurelius to George Washington. You'll discover how to respond to adversity with equanimity, succeed with virtue rather than greed, and hold your inner citadel of tranquility against the ups and downs of fortune when facing narcissists. This is also a space to connect with other conscious survivors seeking self-mastery and actualization after narcissistic abuse. Engage in thoughtful discussion in the comments, share your challenges, epiphanies, insights from trying these principles and support each other's growth. Before you immerse in this first essential ritual, please support this community by liking this video and subscribing. If you haven't already, it will allow us to keep creating empowering content for conscious survivors aiming to positively impact the world. Let us explore second lesson of avoid these seven habits that are making you weak. Lesson 2 on Avoiding Discomfort A conflict-avoidant husband habitually hid from his wife's manipulative attacks, recalling blows from his hypercritical father, endured silently too. However, ancient wisdom traditions teach facing down exploitative bullies calmly with courage, truth, and accountability. Manipulators tend to melt faster when spotlighted openly rather than allowed festering ground through avoidance or passivity. Imagine habitually cowering speechlessly as your narcissistic ex hurls insults, avoiding eye contact for temporary relief at great cost to self-worth. Now envision standing tall, brooking no more words that diminish your value or dignity. 
I'll gladly engage respectfully once we both can speak calmly. For now, I'm stepping away to allow cooling down. Narcissistic bluster often hides great fragility when firmly confronted with boundaries. The risk-averse husband Jordan dreadfully avoided confronting his wife's manipulative mother for years, despite her constant snide criticisms and intrusive drop-ins further destabilizing their home environment. Reared by conflict, avoidant parents silently tolerating a bully's blows, Jordan instinctually dodged tension too at his own well-being's expense. In contrast, the stoic philosopher Zeno firmly stepped into necessary conflict when accosted by an extortionist. Once confronted by a dishonest innkeeper, Zeno stood firmly in truth prevailing by accountable awareness rather than getting overcome by offense. Lesson 3 on Impulsive Reacting A wife, dismissed daily by her narcissistic husband, finally snapped reacting with rare but regrettable contempt. Stoics pause amid provocation process difficult emotions before thoughtful response retaining dignity rather than impulsively match petty blows. Don't clap back immediately to your narcissistic ex's latest snide dig on text. Pause. Digest natural frustration. Consider what your values dictate rather than act on whatever volcanic emotions might demand in the moment. Respond from your centered core with accountable autonomy rather than get sucked into self-diminishing games. The long-suffering wife, Sally swallowed daily, belittling from her narcissistic husband for years to keep their family stable. But his latest aloof reaction caused her to finally erupt in exasperated anger. Venting outrage felt justified for a few minutes. But rather than relief, Sally was left feeling more desperate and remorseful at stooping to his level. Alternatively, the venerable sage Epictetus endured his abusive slave master's tirades for years, without reaction teaching by example the spiritual freedom that comes from non-reaction. But eventually, witnessing blatant cruelty directed at others spurred Epictetus toward thoughtful strategy, appealing privately to the oppressor's conscience winning their group liberation through composed accountability rather than retaliation. Lesson 4 on Compromising Boundaries A woman conditioned since childhood to ignore her own needs and prioritize even an abusive mother's wants trained her to reflexively abandon self in favor of conditional approval. At risk, beyond bodily health is destruction of one's soul. Healthy boundaries demand upholding self-values against any backlash when aligning actions with truths. Imagine finally uttering the word no to the narcissistic manipulator's latest unreasonable demand rather than habitually caving to keep their conditional approval. Prepare for drama as accountability incites chaos in untended shadowlands. But remnants of self-authority take root and strengthen each time you honor your own highest soul integrity above external volatility. The insecure people-pleaser, Alex reluctantly kept assisting her ruthlessly manipulative supervisor's shady business practices, fearing losing her job and comfortable lifestyle should she dare set boundaries against abuses of power. But regularly violating her conscience without accountability for misdeeds bred a daily self-loathing and crippling anxiety within Alex until she woke each morning in knots, dreading another soul-deadening trudge into that office again. Alternatively, the venerated Stoic leader Marcus Aurelius clung firmly to his principles when pressured repeatedly to compromise values merely to retain position and privilege under notoriously volatile rulers. Risking status and advancement opportunities rather than sacrifice integrity took courage, yet this philosopher king retained self-respect through nobly governing true to his spiritual values. To learn more about identifying tactics, narcissists will use early so you can protect your peace and self-worth. Watch my video on 21 Toxic Tactics Narcissists Use to Control dominate and manipulate you next. You'll find the link down below in the video description. Understanding these manipulative strategies is key knowledge for anyone looking to avoid narcissistic abuse and cultivate healthy relationships rooted in authenticity. Lesson 5 on Regretting the Past A husband mentally replayed his wife's cruel insults for years as self-torture for not being enough while her needs seemed unmet. 
But the past cannot change, regardless of reopened wounds. Only perspective, boundaries, and direction forward hold power. Stop ruminating endlessly over better comebacks. You should have hurled back as your narcissistic ex stormed off after demeaning you just yesterday. You cannot rewrite previous scenes, regardless of lingering hurt. Only proactively optimizing present decisions shapes your emerging path. So where do you need to take a stand going forward? The remorseful wife Joyce mentally time-traveled after every abusive episode with her narcissistic husband, painfully repeating what should been said or done to earn loving treatment she craved. I should have said, if only I'd responded better. Her mind desperately tried rewriting their agonizing pattern again and again. But those past scenes remained excruciatingly etched in memory as possibilities for her life kept slipping away in the present. In contrast, the venerable sage Aurelius allowed betrayal to instruct rather than destruct by using self-reflection over self-blame regarding past failures. Assessing shortcomings in the rear view with radical responsibility allowed psychological growth emerging wiser rather than embittered with each lesson as resilience develops. Lesson six on fearing the present. An insecure wife obsessively monitored any shift in her detached narcissistic husband's eyes as an indicator of his mood, then walking on eggshells accordingly. Overwhelmed predicting the future based on past hurts, her mind circled endlessly like a fretting child anxiously awaiting the next condemnation for some failure, real or imagined. But those centered in reality embrace the now with full presence rather than project feared outcomes of repeat wounds by detached partners. When their volatile, narcissistic ex suddenly goes icy and silent withdrawing affection or approval, victims' anxiety spikes as they envision familiar axes falling further any minute. Breathe deep. Ground yourself back into the safety of this moment without catastrophizing imagined scenarios of repeat hurts based on painful past patterns. When you reclaim presence and perspective, apart from projected fears. Limiting narratives lose their power to dictate your inner state or worth. The traumatized abuse survivor Sandra was conditioned by intermittent cruelty and abandonment episodes never knowing what might trigger her bipolar partner's next rage attack. Hypervigilance to his fluctuations in mood became her only sense of control, however illusory. Walking on eggshells 24 slash seven for years Vainly accommodating his most mercurial whims eroded Sandra's very soul until she discovered through mindfulness practices that no amount of appeasing outer volatility can replace securing sanctuary first within. In contrast, amidst devastating loss within palace walls and plagues decimating lives beyond, wise Emperor Aurelius allowed painful grief to flow through him with radical acceptance while retaining deep inner calm. An enlightened sage leader through unimaginable crises, compounding after crises. This Braveheart focused on governing with practical wisdom, guiding shell-shocked citizens through utter uncertainty, one step at a time from a place of compassion. Lesson 7 on Resisting Change An overbearing helicopter, Mom repeatedly intervened, attempting to micromanage her floundering daughter's career course corrections post-college. Control backfired. Enforcing rigid plans based on parent fears, rather than young adult autonomy, predictably eroded self-efficacy needed to eventually spread wings successfully. There is a season for gently helping loved ones just enough that they might find first flight rather than fail to launch at all. And then there is a season for bearing empathic witness when beloveds try navigating solo through unpredictable elements, allowing natural growth even through storms. Both play a role depending on phase support as needed. Consider cautiously when repeatedly protecting others from experiencing their own cause and effect due to poor decision making, are you truly loving them? Or subtly undermining their growth into strong wise stewards of their own lives. Once roots are planted, trees better stand tests of time if organically adapted to winds rather than building dependency on artificial walls. Blocking elements exposure proves necessary for resilience. 
What if next time you step back instead with empathy as guides encounter their own consequences, all while validating feelings and keeping doors open? Adversity grows maturity muscles as long as one doesn't give up. The risk-averse helicopter, Mom Gale adamantly kept trying to puppeteer her daughter's failing trajectories after graduation, running herself increasingly ragged, attempting to control life's unpredictable variables as she saw best. Desperate for different results, but using same fear-based approaches, Gale forced rigid plans aimed at finally manifesting her ego's image of success for her child. All sadly oblivious to the fact that in trying so hard to shield her daughter from necessary growing pains, she starved opportunities for cultivating self-efficacy, resourcefulness, and inner authority too. In contrast, amidst devastating losses within palace walls and plagues decimating lives across villages, bereaved Emperor Marcus Aurelius modeled surrender in his journaled meditations, humbly allowing universal growing pains and grief to flow through him with radical acceptance. Amidst devastating epidemics, with no quick fixes decimating lives far beyond individual comprehension or control, this Braveheart leader held Nero's ship steadily through each uncharted wave by responding through practical wisdom and collective support rather than simply reacting out of individual. Desperation Marcus guided shell-shocked citizens to likewise cultivate resilience through embracing hardship as necessary for their ultimate growth too. To recap, Manipulative personalities thrive among those defaulting instinctively to quick-fix reactions rather than aligning responses with reason. Those lacking a solid inner compass requiring constant external validation. Those avoiding healthy boundaries or life's universal growing pains. Those living shackled to regrets or fears rather than embodying the gift of today. Those so intolerant of uncertainty they try playing God rather than allow organic evolution. But by courageously shifting internal paradigms, we can all reclaim our highest agency and voice. We can stand tall as mighty oaks anchored to roots of wisdom. No outside wind can shake a tree thriving from within. And we can walk gently as giants who neither dominate nor diminish the light in others, but know ourselves as both conduit and source for the same light. What further insights or practices reinforce your resilience both when supporting loved ones undergoing their own storms and securing oxygen masks first on ourselves, gratefully gathering insights for the journey ahead. If your life involves ongoing interaction with narcissistic personalities, I encourage you to subscribe here for more revelations on standing confidently in your worth no matter external chaos. Our deep dives clarify blind spots around codependency and untethering from manipulation. Feel free to share any personal wins, lingering questions, or requests for specific situations you face under such complex dynamics where wisdom is so needed. At core, adopting stoic practices builds the ultimate resilience and freedom. These time-tested tools and principles strengthen our ability to stand unshaken amid storms by evolving self-awareness, discipline, justice, and tranquility, even in the face of dishonesty or irrationality. There is no greater personal power than retaining access to reason when surrounded by reactivity. And no greater love for self, others, and broader world than retaining core values regardless of persecution. Everything meaningful begins with self-mastery. Our continued journey of growth starts here.